Well, Congress is close to reaching an agreement on a $2 trillion stimulus package, and checks could soon be sent out to those impacted by the coronavirus. The proposed stimulus package also includes $367 billion for a small business loan program. 2 News reporter Devro Bogart joins us live with local reaction. Well, they're still working on the exact text of the bill, and it will have to pass the House as well. But a local representative of the Dayton Area Chamber of Commerce says this could be critical to our local small businesses and helping them keep their doors open. Congress is proposing a bill that would inject about $2 trillion into the U.S. economy. It's the largest stimulus package in modern history. Holly Allen at the Dayton Area Chamber of Commerce says this shows the amount of relief small businesses need. We are talking to small business owners every single day um, at all hours of the day. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of fear. Um, some of our small businesses are trying to decide if they can keep their doors open. The proposed deal includes an employee retention tax credit to incentivize keeping workers on the payroll. It also sets aside $367 billion for a small business loan program. Allen says it would allow businesses to access the Small Business Administration economic disaster loans through local lenders. And we're going to put together a list of those banks that have the ability to do this. They could go to their local bank that they're used to using and apply for a loan that has the same terms as what they would get through the SBA to do it through the government. But they could turn it around in a couple of days. So our business owners would get money in their hands um, really quickly. And that's what they need right now. They need lines of credit to be able to keep their doors open through this. Allen says this stimulus plan could be a great tool but they encourage businesses to reach out to the Chamber of Commerce or other resources who can connect them to the entire toolbox. Also tools out there. The state of Ohio has something called Shared Work Ohio, which allows our employers to do a, like a part-time layoff. So essentially the employee is working part of their hours and the state of Ohio is paying unemployment for the other part of the salary they'd be getting. 